Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are about one week out of Arnold Classic 2020 Ohio, and also a little bit more out of Arnold Classic Australia, Arnold Classic South America, and a couple of other shows. We have a lot of physique updates in this video, and we are starting with Sergio Oliva Jr. This is obviously not much of a physique update, it's just him hammer curling under or actually above some really good lighting. Um, Chris Cormier is actually behind the camera telling him to go further and further and he's actually pushing it really hard but what you can notice here the main thing is the size of Sergio Oliva Jr. He is looking probably bigger than, than, than most guys that are doing the Arnold actually I mean he does seem bigger and fuller than William Bonnick for example because William is very short right Dexter Jackson, they are in the same ballpark when it comes to fullness. Of course, Sergio is not as gifted uh, structurally like Dexter and some other guys, but look at the size of those forearms and the arms. He's just really huge at this point. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the size of those shoulders. Just look at the size of this guy. He gained so much muscle. And he's also very conditioned. Look at all the veins. Look at this. Jesus. He gained a lot of mass. A lot of mass. Seriously. In my Patrick Moore vs. Sergio Oliva Jr. comparison video, you will notice his structural weaknesses, but he was not as big as he is right now back in 2018 at the Mr. Olympia. He gained a lot of mass and I cannot stress this enough because I'm really blown away. Look at the size of the delts of the, of the, of the arms. We haven't seen much of his legs, but I'm sure those legs also grew because they are his genetically the most gifted body part. You can see Chris Cormier, he, his trainer on the right, who is admiring his gains for sure. Look at his face. Absolutely amazing. Sergio really gained a lot and I'm really curious to see him on stage. Will this fullness hurt him? Will he be conditioned enough? That's the question. That may be the question, but the size is definitely not the question. He has more size than the likes of Patrick Moore. When it comes to mass, sheer mass, he is much bigger. He's 280 pounds at this point. I'm not sure about Patrick's weight, but there is this new video. Uh, Muscle and Strength posted a video with Patrick Moore. It's about his life. And yeah, I definitely encourage you to watch the video. It's a great video. It's about Patrick and, and his plans for the future and what he's doing right now currently. And you can see his physique update and pff, it doesn't look very impressive. I mean, compared to Sergio, nowhere near as impressive. But what Patrick has is the structure. Really, really good structure. And I'm sure he's going to bring insane conditioning. Uh, can we say the same for Sergio? We cannot say it with certainty. But we can definitely say that he is one of the bigger guys possibly at the Arnold Classic because he is 280 pounds, right? How many of them are going to be at about that weight? Not many, not many. Ram is going to be about that weight, right? So what the hell are we expecting from Sergio? 280 pounds, guys. That's not, that's not a little. That's a lot. And this is Patrick. Nothing compared to Sergio when it comes to size. He's nowhere near him. Again, I don't know when this video was filmed. It's posted today, but I don't know when it was filmed. Because he doesn't look super shredded here. And definitely not big and full. But I think that's understandable. You shouldn't be big and full at one week out of a show. You definitely should be at least a little depleted. And Sergio most certainly doesn't look depleted at all. He looks just big, bigger than ever. Probably one of the biggest guys on that stage. While Patrick... He doesn't seem impressive when it comes to size. But, again, I said it a million times, he has a really good structure. And that's gonna help him place high. Can he win the show? Absolutely not a chance. Can he crack the top four? It is possible. It is possible, but not very likely, in my opinion. I gave him the spot that I gave him in my prediction video. If you wanna check it out, go and watch the video. But I don't think he can crack the top four um, right now at this point. Probably not. Sergio, maybe. Because 280 pounds for a bodybuilder is a lot. Is a lot. He's gonna dwarf some people. I can tell you that much. Is that gonna be enough to crack the top four? Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It's a huge wild card at this point. We can expect a lot. And a little at the same time. If that makes sense. What's up with the big man himself? Big Rami. Well, he posted a story of himself training in a sweatshirt. You cannot really see anything. You can see the size. You can see that he is a, a beast, a beast, a big Rami. I mean, he, he is a big guy and that's why he has uh, big in his name, literally. You can see that he is huge. He's going to be the biggest guy on that stage. And uh, 
based on his diet phase that we saw and so many other physique updates that I've made a video about a million times, you can you can actually you can bet that he's gonna bring really good conditioning. Not like really good conditioning compared to the I don't know Phil Heath and Sean Roden and Dexter Jackson or William Bonek. No, no, but compared to his standards, I think he's going to come conditioned, just conditioned. And that is absolutely going to be enough for him to win the Arnold Classic title. I don't think anybody else can challenge him when it comes to development, complete development. He has everything. He's good from the back, from the front, from the sides, from every single angle. He just got it. He got it all. And uh, it's just about coming in decent conditioning. Can he do it? Of course he can do it. Why the hell not? He is winning this Arnold Classic. No doubt about that. As far as William Bonac, we have this little physique update, it's not much, and it is recent based on his uh, description. When he posts a throwback, he says it's a throwback. He says when it was taken. When there is no date, nothing like that, it means that it's probably um, recent and most likely, yeah. But you cannot really see a lot, and uh, you can basically see the conditioning that he has, and that's not a point, that's not a problem. It's always good conditioning with Bonac. He comes like 100% or like 95, 98% of him, and he's always pretty much the same. He can just come a little bit sharper or a little bit fuller, but he is always on. You can bet on that. He's definitely bringing good conditioning combined with good fullness. And what's that gonna mean? That means that he can actually be in the top two. Nobody else can really beat him aside from Rami himself. So William Bonac second place, no doubt about that, pretty much. Unless Big Ramy messes his conditioning up, then he can take him, but most likely second place for William Bonek. Alright, Neil Hill posted a physique update of Blessing Awaribu at 24 days out of his pro debut, and goddamn, he looks shredded. He is bringing really good conditioning. This guy was always known for being a huge, massive guy in the amateur ranks, and now when he became a pro, it was a trouble, you know, being conditioned for him, but... But look at him, Neil Hill really did a great job, and he has 24 days to get even leaner, and to, to keep his fullness as much as possible, but look at him, look at him, he had so much fullness, so much size, that he was definitely able to go hard on the diet, and not be scared to sacrifice some muscle, because he had plenty of it, and he's doing a pro debut, so his first time being compared to the other pros, and I think he's going to fare well, and it's not impossible for him to actually win some shows. Can he win Iron Classic Australia? Well, you know, there will be a lot of good guys. As for now, I know that Patrick Moore is coming, I know that Josh Lenartowitz is coming, I'm not so sure about the other guys, the big guys, the, the important guys that could uh, blow Blessing Gawaribu out of the water. I'm not sure about uh, Big Ramy, but Big Ramy doesn't seem like a type that would do two shows back to back in like two weeks difference. I don't see that happening. He always used to do just one show, just Olympia. Now he's doing Arnold because he didn't compete in 2019, so he's not qualified for the Mr. Olympia. So now he needs to qualify, but I don't see him doing two shows. William Bonek. Dexter Jackson, I don't know about these guys, I don't know honestly, but it's possible for them to come, so it would be amazing to see him compared to them, and I'm actually really curious how he is going to look on that stage, finally shredded, because he's definitely bringing his A game, he is really shredded at 24 days out of Arnold Classic Australia, so if he actually brings his conditioning even better than this, he is definitely going to be somebody to look out for. Somebody who's going to be new, but very dangerous. And I think this guy is going to leave a mark this year at the Arnold Classic Australia. So be aware. Expect him to do great. All right, all right. We have a physique update of Evan Santopani. After so many years, after like three or four years, after he had that quad there, he tore his quad in his backyard, just slipped and uh, fell and tore a quadriceps and he was away from the game for a while now he's back and he's competing actually he is doing the new york pro 2020 he posted this photo and he says that it is from 2020 not sure exactly which day is it how many days or how many weeks out of new york pro but it's recent it's from this year and what can i say based on this photo i can say that he's already in good conditioning and he didn't lose any mass really I have been following him for the past couple of years, even though he wasn't competing, he still stayed pretty, pretty full, right? 
I mean, you could see him in, 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 a, in a shirt, and he didn't seem like a gigantic bodybuilder that he once was, but he didn't lose any size, really, he was still pretty full. And here you can see him, he's probably back on some, um, you know, a really good diet and a lot of other stuff, you can guess what I'm, what I'm thinking, and he definitely got a lot harder, he gained some fullness as well, and he's doing this kind of growing into the show process, obviously, he's probably gonna try to grow and stay lean, and when he gets fuller, he's gonna look, he's gonna seem more conditioned, that's probably happening right now, as he gets closer to the show, he's gonna start, you know, dieting really hard, then he's gonna lose some of that mass, but he's gonna come conditioned, how will he do it in New York Pro? I don't see him winning it, depends on who else shows up, but this guy, what he's mainly known for is his look in the gym, because he has these dominant arms, uh, that hardcore chiseled face, he's representing Animal Pack, he's also very smart and educated, he has a lot of good videos on YouTube talking about nutrition, he knows a lot of stuff about bodybuilding and duet. that's what sets him apart, his personality basically. So, not so much about the physique really, I mean on the stage, off the stage like this in the gym he looks amazing, no doubt about that, but on the stage he has a lot of weaknesses, for example his chest isn't very big, his waist could be smaller, his wheat taper is not great, his abdomen is not very good, those abs are very separated, his quads could be bigger and so on, a lot of flaws, but really good arms and really good calves and pretty good back that makes his physique look amazing in the gym when he's training, and with that badass face and the ability, the intelligence to actually understand the angles to make his physique look much better, much more impressive than it actually is, on the camera he became what he is today and he's very very famous, he has a lot of fans and he's definitely a hardcore bodybuilder, don't get me wrong, but on the stage, genetically speaking, structurally, not exactly a Mr. Olympia potential or something like that, but a really good pro nonetheless, and I am most definitely very curious to see him at a New York Pro 2020. And that's gonna do it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, but before I leave, I wanted to let you know that if you want to follow myself, my own prep, I'm having a show in about 50 days from now, if you want to follow my prep and see how my body is changing, if you want to learn a little bit more about myself, go to Instagram, type even bodybuilding underscore and give brother a follow, I would really appreciate that guys, so thank you so much for watching this video once again, follow me on Instagram, like this video if you enjoyed it and please subscribe for more Iron Classic updates and all kinds of bodybuilding videos, thank you so much once again, all the best guys and bye bye.